today we're going to talk about adjectives, you know, what's the meaning of adjectives. We took this lesson before, but we're going to revise it. Then we're going to talk about the adjectives that compare. So we're going to take the comparative and superlative. Who can tell me what the meaning of adjectives? Raise your hand. Yes, Laura. Lujain, uh, turn on your cam. Maya, turn on your cam. Laura, unmute your mic. Try again. Um, why this? Why that describe a noun? Excellent, wonderful. The adjectives are words that describe the noun. Thank you, Laura. It's me. Word that that is describe a noun. Excellent, wonderful. I close my mouth. Miss, wait, wait, wait. I know who is the first one. Hissa, then, uh, then Firas. So the adjectives are words that describe the noun. So let's look at here. Here we can see a red bike. So the adjectives can describe the shape, the color, the size, how something looks, how something tastes, or the sound of something. Um, how something feel, okay? So here we have a red bike. The word red is an adjective. Here we have a small bike. The word small is an adjective. Big bike, the word big is an adjective. Here we have two bikes. The word two is an adjective. Here we have a big house, mini trees. The word mini is adjective and big is an adjective. Here we have two owls. The word two is an adjective. Cute owls or nice owls. Cute and nice, they are adjectives. But if we want to, to compare them, which one is nicer than the other? Maybe someone will say the pink owl is nicer than the purple owl. Another one will say, no, the purple owl is nicer than the pink owl. So we can compare between two things by using adjectives. We said the adjective is a word that describes the noun. So what's the meaning of noun? The noun is a name for a person, place, or thing. So the adjective can tell us how something feels, or what's the shape of something, or how it looks, or how it behaves how it feels, how many things we have, the color of it, the size of it, how it tastes, or how it smells, or how it sounds. Okay, so the adjectives will tell us about the nouns. For example here, if we want to compare between two things, or two persons, or two animals, Lujain, Lujain, unmute your mic. Try again, try to unmute your mic again. Again, again, again. Huh. Yes, okay. teacher. Can you, can you compare between the two dogs here? Uh, strong uh, and weak. Okay, can you use the word strong to compare between them? Yes. It's okay. Because we didn't take it yet. We're going to take it today. Yes, Lujain? Yeah. Compare, tell me, which one is stronger than the other? The orange dog is stronger than the black dog. The black dog is taller than the orange dog, the orange dog is faster than the black dog. We can say also the black dog is slower than the orange dog. Really? Then that? So we can use the adjective to compare between two things. So today we're going to talk about adjectives that 
compare. If we want to describe or to compare between two things, we're going to write the adjective plus er and the word then. Then I turn on your cam. Then I turn on your cam. Khalid, turn on your cam. So what will we do? Don't forget, we're going to write the adjective plus er, then, then. I will write it for you, then we're going to take some examples. Firas, concentrate, please. Adjective plus er, then, then. For example, let's take some examples. I am taller than my sister. I am older than my brothers. Not all my brothers, actually. So let's write it brother. Let's see, for example, my mother is um, bigger or older than me or let's say maybe my mother is shorter than me you know but maybe a little bit she is shorter than me but a little bit no. okay so the adjective then er then then like what the purple dinosaur both of them are purple or no this one is purple and this one is blue okay let's say that so we will say the purple dinosaur is tall is the adjective, okay? Then we will add ER, taller than the blue one, okay? Taller than the blue one. Here we have two knives. If we want to compare them, we will say the big knife is sharp than ER, sharper than the small knife. Nice, the small knife. If we want to describe or to compare, why did I say describe all the time? If we want to compare, if we want to do, compare between the two things here, the bus and the car, who can compare? Is your hand, the Rafif? The Rafif, unmute your mic. Are you here, Rafif? Unmute your mic, Rafif. Yes, yes. Can you compare between the car and the bus? Which one is longer? The bus. Okay, I want you to say a complete sentence. The bus is the is a longer than car. Excellent. The bus is longer than car. Wonderful. Hesta sit properly. Hesta sit properly and unmute your mic. Yes, me. Compare between the two flowers. Yeah. The, the 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 purple is is nice. Um, uh, uh, the yellow is not nice. No, no. What's this? What's this, Hista? Why you didn't listen carefully? Listen carefully. Let's see who will solve. Listen carefully to Khalid. Yes, Khalid. The white uh, flower is nicer than the purple uh, flower. Wonderful, wonderful, Khalid. When we compare, amazing, Khalid. When we compare between two things, Hessa, we will, we will write the first thing, okay? The first. Thing. We will not say two sentences. We will not say the pink flower is nice. The white flower is not nice. We will not say that. No. We will write the first noun. The first noun, like flower. The first noun. Then adjective plus er. Then then. Then the second noun. So the sentence will be the white flower nicer than the pink flower. We'll do that, Hissa. Hissa, try again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. okay. In the, the man and the dog. 
The dog is stronger than uh, than than this one. And the man, wonderful, excellent. Thank you, Hissa. Let me mute your mic. Okay, wait, wait, Muhammad and this one. This now I want you to know the superlative. The superlative that means when we want to compare between three or more than three things. For example, if there is maybe ten boys, this is the first. Okay, or let's say five. It will take a lot of time. Five row ten. This is the second. This is the third. This is the fourth. This is the fifth. Can you see it? Because I draw about the. Okay, look at here. When we say the second boy is taller than the first boy, and the third boy is taller than the second, and the fourth boy taller than the third, and the fifth boy is taller than the first, and the second, and the third, and the fourth, we will not say that. No. There is a different way. We will say the last boy is the longest or the tallest. For example, here we have baby bear, mother bear or mom bear, and the dad bear. So we will say the father, the, uh, the father bear is the biggest bear or the tallest bear. We'll say that. So we will write the adjective plus est. For example, if uh, I'm the tallest one in the class, I will say I'm the tallest. Maybe I will say, I can say a name, for example, if I say a name of a student, I will say he is the smartest boy in the class. Maybe he is the quietest boy in the class. Maybe he is the best player in the team. Okay, so we will write that. Adjective plus EST to compare between two or uh, not two, three or more than three things. Okay, so here we have cold, the ice cream is cold, the ice is colder than the ice cream, but the igloo is the coldest. So, in this, it's a it's that I told you before, when I stop your video, don't leave and get in. The, ye the yellow pencil is longer than the other pencils. No, it's wrong it's to longest. say. No, it's the longest. Wonderful. Yes. The longest. We will not add ER if we want to compare only two things, only two. We will say the blue is longer than the green. Hesa, don't put images. But if we want to compare three or more than three, we will add that and ESC. Excellent. Wonderful. Dana? Dana, what unmute your mic. Turn on your cam, Dana. Can you compare between the three animals here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, it is the first, the first one is the bigger. And this no, 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 no. The pig is big, okay? The rhinoceros yeah, is bigger the than the pig. Bigger. But what is the biggest? Biggest, the biggest one. Okay. What's its From name? Do you know its name? What is its name? Elephant. Okay, the elephant is what? Bigger. Biggest is the biggest. Wonderful, Dana. The elephant is the biggest. Thank you, Dana. Maya. Yes, it has. Here we have a black cat, a yellow cat okay. with the stripes. Oh, not cat, uh, not a yellow. An orange cat with the stripes and an orange orange cat. Can you compare between them? Orange cat is a biggest one. Is the fastest Dead cat. One. You should see the fast, uh, not fastest, no. The fastest. 
last one. The fastest what? one or the fastest cat. Thank you. Muhammad. Can you compare between the animals, Muhammad? Yeah. Cat is small. Mama is smaller. And ant is the smallest. No, wait, you have a mistake, Muhammad. That's good. But that's good, but you did, you didn't compare. You can see the mouse. This is the first uh -huh. now. The mouse is what? Is smaller, smaller than what? Smaller than, than the cat. That. Wonderful. Okay. The ant is the smallest. The smallest. Wonderful. The ant is the smallest. Mm. Amazing, Muhammad. Wonderful. Did you see when we compare between only two things? We said the mouse is smaller than the cat, but when we compare between three or more, the ant is the smallest. Okay, now what? Now what? Unmute your mic. It's nice. Now what? Compare, compare between the top three pictures, the ruler, the bat, and the snake. Uh, what do you see? Compare between them. Compare between them. The ruler is long. The back is longer than the ruler. Which one is the longest? Uh, looks. Looks. No, its looks. name is the sneak. The sneak. Is the longest. The longest. Thank you. Welcome, Wahiba. You were absent for two days. Wahiba, your turn. Compare between the three pictures here the map, the candles, and the sun. Which one is the hottest? Yes, miss. Can you sit properly and leave the ships to answer, then you will complete your eating? Okay. Complete, uh, compare between the mug, the candles, maybe they are, they are not candles, maybe they are bombs or something like that. And maybe. the sun. Mm -hmm. I am absent because I go to the Medina. Because okay. I can. But you shouldn't say I'm I am absent. I was absent because I went to Medina. Okay, no problem, Wahiba. Compare now, please. Which one is the hottest? This is the sun. Sun. Thank you, Muhammad. But I want Wahiba to say excellent, Muhammad. Yes, Wahiba. I want you to say a complete sentence. Compare by using a complete sentence. Don't say the sun. No. The sun is the is the hottest. Excellent. The hottest. sun is the hottest. Here, the boiling water is the hottest. Look at here. The first man is happy. The second is happier. And the happiest one is the last one. So here we have some spelling rules. If we have Y at the end of the adjective, we took this one before when we want to add ER or EST, we took it in spelling, if you remember. If we have Y at the end, we will change the Y to I, then we would add ER. So funny will be funnier. If we want to, uh, to add EST, we'll do the same. We'll change the Y to I, then add EST. So funny, funnier, funniest. What did we do? We changed the Y to I, then added ER or EST. If we want or if we have E or a final E or a silent E at the end of the adjective, we will drop the E or we will remove the E. Then we will add ER or EST. Nice, nicer, nicest. 
I think you you already understood this part, right? We took it before. Do you know these rules? Do you know this, these spelling rules? This thing, yeah? Yeah. Do you know these spelling rules? Yeah, I can okay. answer it. Okay, thank you. But here, there is no question. Okay, tell me. Here we have a vowel before the last consonant. If we have a vowel followed by a consonant, what will we do, Nayan? We will double. We will double the consonant. Amazing, Nayan. Wonderful. We will double the last consonant. If we have a vowel followed by a consonant, amazing, Nayan. Thank you. When we have a vowel, a vowel followed by a consonant, we will double the last consonant. Then we will we add er? We will add er or est. So big, bigger, and biggest. If we have y, we have three rules. If we have y at the end, we will change the y to i. I will write them here for you. If, if the, concentrate with me. If there is, if there is, Y at the end of the word, we will change it to Y, then add ER or EST. If there is E at the end of the word, at the end of the word, we will drop or remove the E or the last E or the final E, then add ER or EST. If there is a vowel fluid by a consonant at the end of the word, we will double the final. Consonant. I can't see to write because it's done. Con of. Okay. So now let's complete. There are some exceptions. The grade three. Concentrate. I think you know everything about comparative and superlative, but I want you to do, to concentrate in this part. Maya, hello. If we have the word good, if we have the word good, here it's like the irregular verbs, here we have an exception. We will not say good, gooder, goodest. No, that is wrong, even bad. We will not say bad, badder. Baddest? Did you hear that before? No, here it's a very, very, very big mistake. Don't do that. Wrong, 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 wrong. Okay, we'll not say that. No. Good. If we want to compare two things, bitter. Good. Bitter is the best. Like when we say, I'm the best, or the best fit, or the best thing. We didn't see the gooder thing, right? Did you say that before? The gooder or the goodest? No. So good, bitter, the best. You should remember it. Good, bitter, the best. So the third position here, the third position, it's good, right? It's good. The second position is bitter than the third. The first position is the best position. So we have good, bitter, and the best. Don't forget, if we have the word, oh, here, bad. If it's rain on you while you don't have an umbrella, it's a bad thing. If it's rain on you, or if it's rain while you are outside without an umbrella or without, so a rainbow, this is a bad thing. But it's worse if your cam broken or if you have an accident or if you need to repair your car, that's worse than the rain while you don't have 
umbrella. But what is the worst thing if there is a fire in your house, right? Or if uh, if your house is burning, or if you have a fire in your house. So bad, worst, worst. Don't forget, good, better, the best, bad, worst, and the worst. Let's write them here, and you should remember them. Good. Bitter and the best. If you want to compare between three things, you will say the best. Here, bad. If you want to compare between two things, worse. If you want to compare between three or more than three, we will say the worst. If the sound or if the internet is glitching or unstable, this is what is then the good connection or th this is worse than the good internet but the worst thing is when we don't have internet so if uh, if we have a good internet that's better than no internet but the best is when we have a fast internet okay so there are some exceptions like good, bitter, the bit, bad, worse, worse. Okay. Here now, concentrate again. We have a new point. We have a new point. If we want, we took that. We would add ER if we want to compare two things, the uh, ER and them. We will add that before the adjective and EST after the adjective if we want to compare three or more things. But now, if we want to compare by using a long adjective like polite, it is a long adjective, we'll not say politer, or for example, hardworking, we'll not say harder working. If we use hard, yes, we can say harder than, but hardworking here, it's very long or maybe like helpful we cannot say helpful or, or beautiful or did you hear that before my dress is a beautiful than your dress no we have another thing to do we will add the word more if we want to describe or to compare between two things we will add by using what Along adjectives like polite, hardworking, helpful, beautiful, like modern, for example, all of them here, they are long adjectives. So what will we do? We will use the word more. Maybe this boy is more polite than the other. I'm, uh or ha i had more hard working or i did more hard working than the others i'm more helpful helpful than him my dress or my home or my flower is more beautiful than yours here if we want to compare between three or more things we will we will say the most polite the most polite boy in the class or the most polite girl in the class, the most hardworking, the most helpful person maybe, the most beautiful dress or the most beautiful flower or the most beautiful animal or pet. So what will we do? Listen, here, let's, let's write, what did we learn yesterday, okay? In the beginning, let's revise. This woman is famous, and this woman is more famous than the first, but this singer is the most famous person. He is the most famous person. Okay, so let's hear. Let's write what did we learn today? If we want to compare two things, what will we do? We will write adjective, adjective, plus adjective, that's an adjective, er and then. If we want to compare three, uh, three or more, we will write the, then adjective plus 
EST. If here we have some exceptions, good, bitter, the best. What about bad, bad, worst, worst, and the worst? We have another exception for long adjectives, long adjectives. If we want to compare two things, compare two things, we will write more before the adjective, more than adjective. More than two adjectives, more, write uh, e more than two things. What? You forgot to write E in worse. Oh, yes, you're right. Thank you. Or not change it, let me add the E. Okay. More than two, what will we do? We will add or write most. Then the adjective. Do you understand? Do you have any question? Do you understand? If you didn't understand, raise your hand. If you have any question, raise your hand. If you didn't understand, Lujain and Maya? Okay, unmute your mic, Lujain. I don't understand the, the part where you add E-S-T to the adjective. Okay. Thank you. I will explain it now. Just give me a minute. I will ex re explain it to you. Yes, Wahiba? Miss? Yes? No, when, we, when you say for me, sun, on the sun, I. You know it, Miss, or not? No, what do you. What do Are you forgetting? Forget? When we say uh, the sun and the... The sun, uh-huh. You know it now. The sun is hottest than the other things? Yes, or the I, sun don't, is I don't understand for okay, the sun. Okay, the same part. Okay, the same part. The same point. Yes, Maya? I will explain and it me, now, Wahiba. And me to like them. Okay, the same point. Okay, it's yeah. really easy point. I already explained it. Thank you, Maya, Wahiba, and Lujain. Okay, we will not use the same slides. Let's let's use our own slides. For example, if we have, um, look at here, three girls, Or in the beginning, if we have two girls, only two. Mm -hmm. And okay, so here if we want to compare between the two girls, let's put two names, for example, let's put uh, Malak and she's my sister, Malak, and Rawan, I have two sisters, Rawan and Rosan, but I, I can't grow both of them. So maybe we will say Rawan, they are only two. So we will see the one is close your mouth, Hitsa. Sit properly. The one, I will not unmute your mic. The one is taller. Stop doing that, Hitsa. Wait, I told you, wait. So the one is taller than Malak. You understand this part? I think yes. If we have two, you'll compare between them by using ER and them. But if we have three things, I'm the biggest sister. So this is Aya. Let me draw me. What happened? Wait. Okay. 
I'm really tall. I'm taller than them. And he, oh, I drew hand already. I don't need hand. I don't need hand. I don't need four hands. Only two hands. Okay. So this is my hair, but my hair is not really tall. Only like that. So if we want to compare between the three of them, here we have Medak. Let's write the name again. Medak. And here we have Aya. Okay. So Yawan is taller than Medak. But who is the tallest Lujain? Here we have three. We cannot say Aya taller than Medak and Yawan. It will be wrong. There is a different way or a better way. Yes, Lujain. So you mean we will... We will, um, if we want to the... listen, wait, wait. If we want so the... to wait, wait, give the me one a that is the most tall, we will say tallest. Yes, that tallest. I told you, wait to draw the rest of my sisters to know that even if we have maybe, uh, we have five things, for example, yeah, one and Jazan, they are in the same tall, and there is here Neda. Okay, so now which one of us is the tallest? You. So what will you say? Aya is the tallest. Amazing. Aya is the tallest. Aya is the tallest sister. Amazing, wonderful. And who is the shortest? Uh, Malak. Excellent. What will you say? 